Traffic everywhere. Hey, Tony, you can do what the hell you want. Terracotta army. What a pleasant day. <laughs> <laughs> Australia section begins. I can't believe it's here. It's been two and a half weeks of stationery. Finally got a ticket with me and we are now off. Up on fuel and then ready to rock and roll. Looking forward to it. It's going to be quite a change riding in Australia compared to what I've had in Asia and all that. My route across Australia leaves Perth south and then east across the very long Nullarbor and then north to Ayers Rock and then further east all the way to the east coast of Townsville and then south to Sydney. Welcome to Australia where you have straight roads, the odd bit of water puddle Either the sun is shining or there's loads of clouds. And if I stay silent for a moment. <laughs> it's fucking nothing! <laughs> it's not even animals! I've, the only animals I've seen are birds, dead kangaroos, more birds, the odd eagle, and shitloads of ants. There's nothing. Coming from China, where they stuff 20 million people in one city. <laughs> Good Australia. It's just nothing. It's no China. That was <laughs> some gas that went. I was expecting Zigger to go kaboom. So I head up to Norseman there, um, and that's when I start heading east, full on, long stretch all the way and um, just the number one and that's all it is it's just going to be pretty much what i've had where it's just nothing Six o'clock, but I'm gonna push on. I'm gonna start losing daylight soon. Go another 200 miles to that town here in South Australia. Woo I wanted to push further on across the very long stretch of the Nullarbor, and in order to do that, I had to ride at night time. Ooh. 
basically three quarters of the Nalibu. Um, I'm now here in the town of Nalibu, the Nalibu uh, Roadhouse. Ended up riding 560 miles. Dear God, it was boring. <laughs> yes, just once that sun went down, my fatigue started kicking in instantly. I was like, oh, geez, I've never spent so much money on fuel. I think I've spent over a hundred bucks today just on fuel. Longest day on the saddle, the most times fueled up in one day, the bonus roads in, that I've ever ridden as well. This little shed. This little, literally this shed. Um, if I showed the outside, you'd think I'm at the um, beginning of a horror film. Not exactly the most spacious of things, but there's Tigger. Um, as I said, it's it's proper out back. <laughs> it's just it's not even worth it. It's just uh, oh, oh, it's all part of the adventure. It's all part of the experience. Yes. <laughs> Day, 450 miles in Ayers Rock. Boom! And this thing here, this big bloody great big rock, is a massive highlight of the trip. To be able to ride London to Bangkok via China and then, you know, to make it possible to fly the bike over here in Australia, but get here is a massive highlight. Spectacular winter, spectacular winter's day. Couldn't ask for more already. Me and Tigger. Here's Rob, baby. Woo. Give me bends, <laughs> give me mud, give me roadworks where I have to dodge things, give me tuk-tuks. <laughs> I'm losing my mind now, so. I've made it to Queensland, Sunshine State, and uh, it's pretty down sunny. <laughs> Riding in Queensland was sort of the big, um, you know, it was, it was a state I was looking forward to because I know it's going to be a bit more lively, you know, the, it's a bit more populated, the Queensland on the East Coast. Then I'm here now in Townsville. Uh, stunning ocean views. And finally seeing the ocean. It's um, sort of a beautiful sight to see after seeing the desert the whole way. Got some company in as well, which is fantastic. Uh, lovely company. Andre. My daughter Enya, travelling with Greece today. We had a lovely barbecue last night, did a lovely brew up, uh, fantastic hospitality from, from them. So it's, um, we're going to fill up and head down to Mackay, uh, down the coast and then stop at the beach. So it's going to be fantastic.
bye <laughs> Check it out! That was incredible. I've never seen that in my life. The, the black sparrows and the, the smoke was horrendous. The heat as well was tremendous. After leaving the fire, I then got for the first time in Australia, torrential rain. This is never the fun part of motorcycling, let's be honest. It's pissing down, it's freezing, I'm soaked to the point of relief. Luckily the gear is actually quite waterproof. I'll try and sell this one which is waterproof, it's actually waterproof, the only thing is, is this. The neck, the neck um, doesn't ex isn't exactly waterproof. Typical. I was packing up uh, my tent, looking in the sky, thinking, "Oh, it might, might rain, might rain, might get a bit of rain today. If I can pack up quick enough." Fucking sod's law. Pulling out the poles, so the tent, tent's, the tent is flat, and everything's open. My bags are open, ready to pack in. A bloody and just pissed them tent just got saturated and of course it's on the floor so it's just puddles all over it, the tent's just soaked, my bags are soaked and then five minutes later it stops. Absolutely torrential rain, yeah. everything's wet, I'm wet. Be honest, it's never fun when it's raining and you're on a bike. How's my hair looking? Stunning, I bet. <laughs> you gotta laugh at these situations. Gotta find a place for a cup, warm coffee, I think. My hands are freezing. So. Fuck you! Get in there! The hands wet! It's <laughs> all <So> fucking. <laughs> A few days after sightsee in Sydney, as I sea freighted the bike to Christchurch in New Zealand. Should be. Here I am, I'm here at the warehouse in New Zealand, and as you can see, Bike is cleared. Just putting the parts together, putting the wheel on, and yeah, ready to go. Got Campbell Live here, TV also following me, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to work. Just thought I'd show the bike. Amazing.